Okay, in previous video, I showed you the problem of uh, uh, springs that are binding, automatic that are binding. And uh, now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a formatter to tell spring, how to convert your string into a reference phone object. Okay, so now let's do it. First, I want to my code to be well organized. So I'm gonna create a new package called formatter, okay? And after I create, I'm gonna create a new class called form formatter, okay? And this class, you have to implement an interface provided by Spring called formatter, okay? And you have to tell which object you want to, which domain object you want to use in this formatter. And here we are gonna using phone, okay? And once you have that, you have two methods you have to implement. One is a parse, one is a print. Here, parse. When do you use parse? This is, uh, let's take a look at this parse method, okay? Parse method will have a parameter with a string. This S will represent the values you type in the browser. In this case, S will be the phone number 641451111, okay? And uh, locale is if you have, uh, if you support for the localization, you can use the locale. We do not talk about it in this video, okay? And now, what is the phone? Phone is you create an object. So when inside this customer phone, you type 641451111 here, okay? It will automatically create it will using your formatter to create an object or phone and uh, bind to here. So now, when whatever you return the phone, it will bind to your customer domain object in the post mapping method. Okay. So now I'm gonna do some uh, not very good practice just for showing the demo. Okay. Uh, I expect. Our phone number gonna have uh, this uh, format. So I'm gonna do, yes, I have a string uh, temp equals s dot split by spear, split, okay, by this hyphen. Then I'm gonna create a phone object. New uh, phone p equals new phone. And then I will call phone dot set area code gonna be 10, 0, right? Oh, sorry, this one should have the parentheses. And p dot set number or uh, prefix. Prefix is a temp one. I'm gonna p dot set number, which is temp two, okay? So Temp zero represent this six four one. Temp one will represent four five one. Temp two will represent one 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 one. Now I will return this phone. Oh, sorry, I called the P here. Sorry, P. Okay, and let me show you one more thing. Yes, now I have a system dot out of the print line. Okay, I will print this. Uh called inside what inside the uh, phone formatter okay par parse method okay and uh, i'm gonna out print line this phone object how about that in order to make it correctly uh, let me go to the phone and add a two string method okay go here Add a two string method so otherwise you just see the address okay so now 
After you add the formatter, we are already done the parts. I will show you another video about the print, okay? Print will convert, uh, is especially used when you do the editing, okay? Which is uh, convert Java object into a string value, okay? So I have print line here. After you have formatter, you have to do some configuration. Tell Spring where to find your formatter, okay? Otherwise, you just have a normal class here. No, Spring will find out this is the formatter. And how to do that? You have to go back to your web application context config. In this config, there is a one method. If I can find the code add formatter, this one. So we just override this method, okay? Let me override this method, okay? And in the registry, you can just add a formatter. Then you can here, you can add a new phone, yeah, sorry, new phone formatter here. So you create an instance and you add it here. Uh, that's it. And uh, let me run and show you if everything works. Okay. If not it work, let me do some debug and fix it. Okay. I feel I already configured everything. So now let me stop the application and uh, restart. Okay, the browser is, uh, the application is deployed successfully. I'm gonna switch to the Chrome and uh, show you the demo. So now let me type your favorite name, Rujuan, XNG, and phone number. We are using 641 okay? And click Add Customer. Very good. This is our detail page, and in the detail page, you see your name and the phone number. And then let me switch back to the IDE and to show you we have some console, right? We have some system.print line. I will show you it's actually displayed on the output. So here, every time, every time on the JSP, okay? in the form every time you click submit button and it gonna go to your controller post mapping method and every time spring trying to do the data binding for you he will bind the first name sorry let me go back he will bind the detail page no and here he will bind the first to customer first he will bind last to customer last. And when he is trying to bind this phone, which is a string, to this phone object, he cannot do automatically. Then he will check the configuration. He will check inside your application context in this formatter registry if you have a phone formatter. And since we register here, and he will call this parse method to convert your string value into a phone object. And then that's the, how the magic happens and everything works. So when I submit once, you will see it call the parse method, you will get a phone object. Okay. That's the formatter, how to solve the problem with uh, bind the string value, okay, it, from the request parameter to an object in the post mapping method, okay. Thank you for watching this video and uh, see you in next video talking about the print method, okay. See you soon.